Hi everyone, welcome to the course Core Java. This is the second problem of the course and it is a continuation of the first problem. So in the first problem we saw how to create a class and add some attributes and member functions to the class. Also we saw how do we create an object of a class and access all the values, methods, attributes of the class. Now in this problem, we'll see how we secure our data and access the member variables only through constructors and getters and setters. So our problem statement is the same. Write a class named batsman, which represents the batting statistics of a player in IPL 2016. And we learn through this the use of constructors as well as the use of getters and setters to make our code more secure. So let's jump into the code. So the code that you see here is the code that we wrote for the previous problem. We created a class which had seven data members and three functions. Also, we created two objects which we initialized and called our functions get strike rate and get run scored in boundaries. Now, here all our data members have default access specifier. So first off, to secure our data, how we'll start is we'll make all these private. So they should not be accessible outside the class. So we add private to all our data members. Now since they are private, to use them throughout the program, first off, we need to have a constructor, which initializes all these data members. So for that, we first create a default constructor. So this we created a default constructor that doesn't have any input parameters specified. Now, we add one more constructor, batsman again. So you can have multiple constructors with varying input parameters. So in this one, we add all the input parameters to initialize our batsman class. So we have name, we have runs code, and likewise we'll add all the parameters here. Now, once this is done, what our batsman constructor would have is exactly what we did in the set data. So this piece of code was used to initialize our data members. We'll just take it away from here and add it to our constructor because this is the exact functionality of a constructor in a class. And we can go ahead and remove this. All right. So this is now our batsman constructor then we have our functions get strike rate get runs code now to initialize we need to have getters and setters in place so what are getters and setters simply they are used to get the data of members of the class and to set the data of members of a class so every member variable should have a getter and a setter. So let's say we start with the name. Public string get name. So this is going to return the name of the player. So here we do return name. Now since it is returning name, we have string here and all the getters and setters are always public. Now to set the value, if you want to initialize or edit the value of your. Now, if you need to access the value to edit the name, we say we create a setter that is public void set name pass the name here this 
dot name equals to name. So this will now initialize your name attribute. So similarly, we create getters and setters for all the attributes that a class has. Now, instead of typing it all by yourself, Eclipse gives you a shortcut to do the same. So all you have to do is go to source here and you will see generate getters and setters. So click on it. This will give you all the attributes of the class for which you can generate getters and setters. So you do select all. So as you see for name, we have already written. So it's not showing name here in the list. So you simply select all and say, okay. Now this will generate all your getters and setters, get runs code, set runs code. Everything is now in place in your class. So now let's see once this is all done, how we create a batsman class object and now initialize data and access data from our class. So let's say we create a new batsman object called batsman1. Now instead of directly calling our variables by giving batsman1.name, we call our setters. So batsman one dot set name and here we pass the name so we initialize batsman one name to virat kohli similarly if we say we want to give centuries so we say set centuries to 20 all right this is how you will initialize all your variables. Now, if you have to print the same, what will you do? So, you say batsman. So, we say system.out.println name. batsman one dot now first we did batsman one dot name now since it is private and we have a setter in place to do the same and we have a getter in place to do the same we say get name we call the function get name here this will print the name of batsman one let's run and check our output now So it's printing our name Virat Kohli. So you saw how to generate getters and setters and how to initialize all the attributes of a class using a constructor. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy coding.